Love it. <laughs> yeah. Fierce. It's all business. Um. Hey everybody, we've got another exciting behind the scenes video that goes into how we shot Sarah and Danny's wedding film, which you can actually, it's been on the channel, you can watch it in the description below. But I also wanna talk about how today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best place to buy a domain, build your website, or start your e-commerce store. And for those who watch the video all the way to the end, I've got a special 10% discount off your first purchase, so wait for that. Without further ado, here's the behind the scenes. We, we have arrived. It's uh, air conditioned in here, as you can tell by that loud fan. Very sunny outside. I'm excited. This is the first wedding of the season, so this is chill. We got the squad here. Say hello. <laughs> you got fuzzy on your camera. Got fuzzy. Dead cat. Oof. We are a little early. We're just chilling, getting warmed up. Um, Mainly, like, this is what I've learned, like, unless I, unless you have, like, a husband and wife team, it's really hard for the, the first and second to, like, know exactly what the other is doing and not doing. So it's like, I'm going to shoot the wedding as if, not as if I was by myself, but, like, I'm going to get what I need, and then you're going to get what you think I could use as well. So it's like, a lot of it is you seeing what I'm up to and being like, oh, okay. He's got that. Word. Um, you can definitely undershoot in the sense that like don't no excess. So just take your time, you know, do what you do. Um, I've seen your stuff; it's killer. So I have not seen your stuff though. Here this is the real test right here. I'm gonna be doing this a lot just for the fo to, like just to test your focusing. I hate it when people do that, especially like, this close because it's like a large pull. Okay, oh, five out of ten. Yeah. Ready. But I just brought the necessities that I thought I would might you need You brought today. a backup Zoom? Backup, just in case you ever needed something. He doesn't trust me. <laughs> we have a crap ton of Tascam today that we're going to be testing. I know these are killer. I've got three of those, but we're going to be testing this today. You ever seen this? Mm -hmm. Just like a recorder for XLR. We call it a butt plug. <laughs> I got so many butt plugs today. <laughs> I have this fun microphone today. Thanks, Sennheiser. I like how weird it looks. GH5 looks awesome. It's big. I love it. It's it big. Is, it's bigger than my GH4. You gotta be cool and put black tape over the logo, though. That's like what all the Someone cool photographers do. Okay, let's get, just go down one notch for each contrast and saturation for you, and then I'll match that on my end. Having the Mavic would have helped make this more minimal because uh, I wouldn't have had that. And then sometimes uh, I, I'll, get, I'll hire second shooters who have lighting, so I wouldn't have had to bring all of this or this, so that would have made this much lighter, but I don't think I could get more minimal than this. Like, I, I've got it down. This is a new light that I'm testing. This will be the first wedding, but it's just like the second edition of the torch LED. Smaller, brighter, better. So definitely going to shoot a video with footage from this wedding, testing how I like this. I've already tested it in my studio with YouTube videos and it's just like a light, it works. I know it's gonna be great, but we'll definitely, we'll test it out today. We'll, we'll put it through the rain. And this thing falls, that's the only thing. This, this isn't really good design. And this is like my fourth or third wedding with the Zion Crane. And I've used it enough to know that I only need two batteries for the entire day. I could use this for a week with these batteries. These batteries are crazy. Mm -mm. Once again, caps on lenses off. Just saves me time and space. And like always, I'm just gonna put that 50 on. You're gonna see me using this lens all day long. My uh, last intern apprentice person, I think fucking broke the bottom of this, so we'll see. <laughs> Fuck you, Adam. No, this doesn't turn, and you can see me trying to like, use pliers. <laughs> so that's locked. It still works, but it's just not, not 100%. And also first wedding using this Sennheiser, so we're definitely gonna do a review for wedding filmmakers with it. 
And once again, it's just a fucking mic, so. Like, what review am I gonna do? See, that's what I don't want, though. Son of a bitch. So, we are shooting pretty standard flat picture profile, color, everything, just turning down the saturation and sharpness a tiny bit. So if we had to desaturate and decontrast a little bit, we could do that without losing image quality, but it looks pretty similar to what we're getting on camera. And I think people shoot better when they do that. But if we wanna apply a LUT in some regard, we can always scale back the color and the contrast a little bit. And I think that's best for weddings, you know, especially when you're uploading compressed video. So this should work. All right, so I'm just gonna go handheld and just see what we got. Oh, How was everything? It's great, doing okay. well. We're just kind of hanging out right now, everybody. They're doing last minute touches on hair. Okay. Um, Hi, everyone. Hi. This is Craig. Wow. I love it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait, wait for the light. Great, yeah. Get that natural light in. Oh, you're gonna do that now? I can. Uh, we could probably wait for the photographer, right? I think so. Yeah. I already read it. Oh, you already read it. <laughs> so let's fake it. <laughs> um, do you have like a couple like favorite moments from it that you want to read? How is it long or short? What is it? It's two pages long. Okay, All long. <laughs> so maybe it would be great if we turn down the music and then you just kind of act like you're reading for the first time and we just get your favorite parts. Cool. Okay, so flip it around, now flip it back. Okay, cool. Now you're gonna open it? I think it is. Oh my god! People aren't gonna be like right on top of you or like looking at it at the angles you always see. Extremely anxious man awaiting you. I love you, Danny. Woo! <laughs> He's so good with words. <laughs> mm. I could get through that without crying. I know, but a lot. Just read that last sentence one more time. You're going to look stunning in that dress. I can hardly take suspense. All right, baby, let's do this. Don't take too long coming down the aisle. You have an extremely anxious man awaiting you. I love you, Danny. Cool. Great. We are all great actors. We love this. <laughs> you got it. So right now, reflections. So kind of, I'd say come over here. And then exit out the same way, okay? And go for it. That was great. It was good. <laughs> Thank you. Getting them five out of ten shots, am I right? We got we got some good stuff. We have, we've had to like fake everything, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, they're doing okay. How's the lighting going back? They've got this lighting and then one strong source from the window, but it's not the best. I tried to turn off the overhead lights, but it's just too dark on the other yeah. side. Most speed like cards that people get are long and it kind of sucks if they just read it. It's only good when the emotion is there and it's only good in snippets. We don't want a long paragraph, like a sentence or two. So that's what I ask. I'm like, what's your favorite one or two sentences? Don't read the whole thing, just read the two. 
but really it should be more pause. Like I should tell them like, cause you don't want to stop them when they're just going off. So it's I'm like, okay, just direct them more better, like better. Um, take a pause, find your favorite, take another pause and then just read that one sentence. And that's usually better. And then take another pause, stop. Like if you have them stop instead of just try to get through it, I think that's much better. That's, that's what we want. Let's just do some of that. Keep going. <laughs> yes, love it. Okay, cool. Okay, so you're gonna bring your hands right to how they are right now. Um, but now pull them apart and then bring them back and go for it. Mm-hmm, yes. One more time. Yep. Thank you. That was perfect. So that's a good spot right there. Uh, let's have you look out the window and then you're gonna come back to that spot, okay? And go for it. Uh, cool, look down. There we go. Can you kind of just like touch your hair? Just like, yeah. Let's take a moment. Love it. You are supermodel today. Okay, I love it. That's great. Cool, cool, cool. So what you're doing with the veil right now, let's do that again. Okay, yep. I love it, I love it, love it. Shooting video for the wedding, okay. so. If we could talk about audio real quick, that'd be great. Do you have any kind of um, source that I can record out of a mixer or better yet, the receiver of your wireless? There's, there's usually a quarter out of the receiver that usually works best. Balcony and, and Danny just like opening the doors being like, it's my wedding. I think that'd be so funny. You're just using this one though, right? Or are you using both? This one's gonna be the efficient, mm -hmm. this is gonna be for one of the singers. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm just gonna grab a quarter out of this one then. Okay. And that should be perfect, okay? All right. uh, I'll come down to do a test when you're here before hand, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> it doesn't work at the end. I'm dead, just walking from there to here. Like it's, it's I can't breathe, it's so hot. Okay, cool. So now I just want to add a little bit of motion. So just like kind of like loosen up and then go back to that spot, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go, love it, thank you. So he had a quarter inch. We'll take this whole thing out, but I'm curious to see, we'll do a little test. Mic check, one, two. Mic check. One, two. Mic we'll check. see. One, two. What I want to do is a shot of him coming out to the balcony, me shooting from below, okay. far. I think I might put a third camera for the beginning of the ceremony up here. It's kind of cool. I'll have him at the top of the aisle, then I'll do some Zion movement shots. I'll sweat my ass off. All is right with the world. Going. Thank you. you do that was good. That was like your Mufasa Simba shot. Yeah, yeah you're good. Cool. Thank you. Man, it's hot out Are you putting a couple more in these little drawer things or in this one right here? She just asked me to. One,
Uh, right now I'm not really using monopod tripod that much just because I'm going for the handheld look for this wedding, I'm feeling it. And I just got very lightheaded. <laughs> I always forget that. It's the last thing I have to do. Rotate this 90 degrees. Here, here's what we got. So 7200 up there. He'll be shooting BTS up there, manning that camera, is just chilling. Okay. So that's a wide of the whole thing. And then you're going to be on monopod with this. What lens is it? The 35. Out of a 50 as well. Yeah, so either that or the 50 at the top of the aisle, people coming towards you. Okay. And then I will be doing wides and shots we don't need but we want. Okay. Where do you want me to dip to after? Off to the side and just hold that shot until I set up uh, that 70 to 200. I'm going to go grab it and then I might put this in the center and then go grab that. Okay. But just look for me, you know, just be chilling on the monopod. Okay. It's going to be hot, so yeah. I'll try to hurry. Okay, focus. Jesus. Here we go. <sighs> Let's do this right. This is the only lens I use on this, so if I get it right the first time, it should be set for the rest of the day. I realized why that wasn't working the same way. Uh, my last apprentice guy, that's his. He took mine. Want that bokeh in the background. And less distractions. And the candlelight is also reflecting in the uh, thing there. This looks good. So I'm just focusing on the flower of the cake texture. And candles flicker a little bit, so. 
There's a little bit of motion even though it's a static shot. That's good. And they were specifically put there for a reason, so I always put things back. Let's do a close up. Right. I've been shooting on the 50. This is the first time I'm gonna switch to the 85. Just to get a little bit more bokeh. Tighter. It'll help make static shots of detail stuff more interesting. So I'm shooting this way because that way is darker, this way is lighter, and you want the background to be darker. It helps add a little bit of shadow. All right, I can do a little bit of cocktail. Especially when there's nice light like this. You have to be stealthy for this moment. You want to get real reactions, but sometimes that's best when you're close. So it's tough. You have to master the art of uh, getting the shot without them knowing. Dude, this thing is pissing me off so much. I, I hate him for doing that. I hate, Adam, I fucking hate you. monopod legs suck dude yeah they really do it'd be better just like not having them you know my little purse it's like a man purse it does the job nice okay right here yep all right hide it show it Ooh. he did a sexy one <laughs> Can I have one minute with them right here? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna get like shot here, then a reverse. And what I want yeah, is yeah. just like the closeness. So motion is good with this, different than the, uh, the photo. So you two are married. Kind of move your hand a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Bring it back down to his shoulder though. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Tighten up on her waist. Yeah, there you go. I love it. Okay. Okay, I know this is this is it. Here we go. Okay. You can stop and kiss if you'd like. Can you give her a twirl? And uh, it's a point A to B. I think James Bond. And then like, so it's like, and then take a look right at the lens as I come at you slow, okay? This is hipster as fuck. All right, ready? I'm gonna do my wide stance. And go. So stand there, it's like a point A to B. It's like, uh, he did James Bond. You'll do like, looking down. <laughs> And then you're gonna look right up, all eyes, right to the lens. And I'm just gonna go like forward at you. Okay, and go for it. Oof, fierce. One more coming back. And go for it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, fierce. It's all business. Just need one shot. Probably just over there, coming right at it. That's all I need. All right, I got my going towards it, and I'm just gonna get the overhead shot.
fucking hand signals. Oh god, no. Nah, not another meme. Person standing there looking here, giving toast. I shine light. You'll want to be right here, low. Just eliminating that exit sign as much as possible. If, I don't know if it's possible, but I just don't think that's tight enough. Yeah. Come in, dance, then father, toast. Um, I don't know, it might be inaudible, but you know how to turn that up. I mean, I, let's just make sure we communicate as okay. much as possible, because right. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right. Please put your hands together for Tim and Lisa. Speeches, stand in the middle, but look at the bride and groom. Like the dad, dad was like behind the. We want you to be looking at each other. Like he was just facing the wrong way. Okay, thank you. Okay, so everyone will be looking at the bride and groom okay. next time. The lighting will work, and we'll know where to be. Yeah. You'll, you'll expose for their face. Okay. Um, I told them to turn down the house lights. Okay. Uh, shoot eye level with them or shoot like upward at them? It's hard to shoot up because these people will be yeah, in your yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So you just have to position the lowest you can be okay. while getting the shot. That's where we stand or sit or... Yeah. So in the middle, we'll have the person giving, like speaking to you sitting there. Sitting. Okay. We're going to light that. We're going to light that. It's good. All right. I think DJ's trying to get that all organized right now, so I just want to give you a heads up. Yeah, all good. How do you want it? Yeah, want bride it and groom right here, the other people giving the toast right in the middle. They're okay. giving the toast. Mm -hmm. Right in the middle. So you want them to stay here, you don't want No, 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 in the middle. It's just really far away. You're going to have the mic. Oh, you want to be here? I think she wanted to sit next to Sarah and give it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I guess it's all going to take place here. That's fine. They just don't feel comfortable over there, so it's, it's fine. Yeah. You're going to stand back here and give it to us? They're, everyone's going to be right here. Oh, perfect. They want to be over there, so they're going to do that. Okay, so same spot over there, but just at tight on the on the toast giver. I'll get the wide with the reactions. And you may not believe it, but I can speak from experience from my own marriage that the love that you feel for each other today will just grow and grow throughout the years. <laughs> Do you know where the planner is? The planner? The wedding planner? Yeah. No. Is the planner back there? Is the planner back there? Who yeah. got the lights? Thank you. What? It's just tough when you work in locations that know nothing about lighting, don't care. Like, I had to try to find the planner every single time. She didn't know how to do the lighting. It's just like, insane. Here, we want to get a great picture from the photographers. All right, so Sarah, on the count of three. We're going to do this on the count of three, Sarah. Ready? One.
Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'm using them for both my craigadams.com and weddingfilm.school. Both the domains and the websites are built with Squarespace, and I love how minimal they are. Honestly, every single wedding filmmaker should have a website to show off your portfolio, to get in contact with inquiries, to put your prices up or not. Uh, it's up to you, but honestly, I'm thinking about making more content about how websites are helpful, and I'd kind of like to make one from scratch for someone. I think that would be really fun to see how fast we could do it but use Squarespace, and of course, for watching all the way through, myself and Squarespace would like to give you 10% off your first purchase. Boom. Thank you. Take care.